Okay, so I've had a lot of requests from probably since day one I've been on YouTube to do my everyday kind of makeup look and this is kind of how I wear my makeup every single day and then I kind of do it differently at night if I'm going out or whatever. But yeah, so I figured I had some time today. I go ahead and film my everyday makeup look. I did film it in my bathroom so the lighting should be really good. I would have filmed it in my room but I really wanted you guys to be able to see everything. So, and I'm really not used to filming tutorials to be honest. I don't know, it's really hard to sit there and film doing your makeup in front of the camera. I'll just say that. So, props to all you ladies who can do tutorials because it's hard to do this and film. So hopefully mine's okay, it's probably not the best, but I tried, and I think I should get an A for effort. Oh, and FYI, in this video I am in a bathrobe, and my hair is in a hair towel. That's because, right, I do my makeup right when I get out of the shower. I can't, like, do my hair and then do my makeup because my makeup gets in my hair, and I think it's gross. So yeah, I do my hair while it's still in a towel, so that's why my hair is in a towel when I'm filming this video, so yeah. So if you guys want to go ahead and stick around and see my everyday tutorial, stick the first step I do is I take MAC Painterly and I put this all over my lid and this basically helps keep my makeup on all day long without coming off. I absolutely love this palette. These two colors are Estee Lauder Smoky is a dark one and Tea Biscuit is the lighter one. I'm using my Sedona Lace 305 brush to apply Smoky all over my lid. And I just like how this looks on my eyes. It's just one of those colors that makes blue eyes pop, but it would also make other colors such as brown and green pop too. And I just keep adding this all over my lid to kind of get a nice layer going on my eye and make sure it blends really well. I do typically a pat motion, but sometimes I swirl it in there just because I want to create that heavy texture. Now I'm using a little Estee Lauder brush and I'm taking Tea Biscuit and I'm using that all over my brow to kind of create a highlight for my brow bone and this just kind of creates like this pretty glow above your eyes which I think it's really gorgeous and every time I do it I get a lot of compliments so I don't know I just love how it looks on me and I just kind of do that till I cover my entire brow with it and make sure it's even now I'm just adding smoky all over my lid just to create a heavier look now I'm using MAC Carbon with my Sedona Lace 904 brush to kind of smoke out my look a little bit and give it just a little bit more of a smoky look. Just kind of makes it a little bit more sexy. And I just kind of do this until I get it evenly and I feel like it's to my standards and looks good. I just keep doing it in kind of like this half sun motion I call it. It's just my own terminology that I invented. But I just keep doing that until it looks good. And each side is blended very well and matches. Now I'm just adding one more layer of Smoky on my lid once again. Now I'm using my eyeliner by Clinique. This is a cream shaper in shade 01 Black Diamond. And I love this eyeliner mainly because it's very black. So it stays on all day long and it doesn't run, which is really important when you are wearing a eyeliner because you don't want to leave your house and then have it run and come off and look all gross. Like that's just not appealing. So this eyeliner is great for staying on all day and not running and staying very black if that's something that you like, which I do. Now I'm taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes, and I love this mascara. It makes your lashes very sexy and just absolutely gorgeous. It's really easy to apply, and I don't think it leaves your eyelashes looking cakey and just spidery looking. Now I'm taking my Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Volumizing Mascara, and I use this for my bottom lid just because I feel like it's a little bit more subtle, and I like my lashes on my bottom to be a lot more subtle than on my top. I don't like it to be really heavy, but I still like you to see the lashes, but I just do it kind of subtle. I just think it looks better on my eyes. And then I take my hands and I get the excess off so it doesn't run or drip. Just gently pad. Now I'm taking my Bare Minerals Summer Bisque, and this is basically like a concealer for over your makeup. I call it a face eraser. And basically, you just get this on your brush, 
kind of dab it in and then you're going to swirl it into your skin and it basically takes away any spots that you have that are red or blemishes or if you have you know a pimple or something that needs covering up this is great I just call it a magic eraser and it literally erases it off your face and creates a soft just beautiful glow on your skin it's one of my favorite secrets basically I love it so much Now I'm applying one of my favorite bronzers ever. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. Definitely my favorite bronzer ever. I apply it everywhere to be honestly. It's just one of those colors that looks good on everyone. I've even used this on people who have lighter skin tones than me, people who have darker skin tones, and it just blends well on everyone. It's, and it's, it's, it's such an amazing bronzer. And you just need to make sure you blend well and you'll be fine. But it just looks dewy. It's matte. It's... I can't even describe it to you guys. It's just honestly beautiful. I've never received so many compliments on a bronzer than the Soleil Tan de Chanel. It's expensive, but it really is a bronzer that everybody should have because it's that amazing. I promise. It will not disappoint you. The brush that I'm using to actually apply this is the BH Cosmetics one. It's not, it doesn't have a name. It's just very fluffy and dense. It's one of my favorite brushes to use for applying this particular bronzer to my face. To make my cheekbones stand out a little bit more, I'm going to use my Sigma Angle Top Kabuki. It's the F84, one of my favorite brushes ever, and this just kind of makes my cheekbones stand out a little bit more using this brush. Now I'm taking my Sigma 168 brush and I'm applying my NARS blush. This one is called Deep Throat. And all I do is I just apply this to my cheeks. I like to create very high cheekbones. So what I do is I start actually on my cheek and I just lift them up to my temples. And I keep doing that until I create the look that I really want to achieve. And I like really high cheekbones, so I kind of keep going to kind of accentuate my cheekbones. I already have naturally big cheekbones, but I just like to kind of make them stand out a little bit more by adding the deep throat. Deep throat's a perfect color for that. It's one of my favorite colors ever. And it blends really well into your skin, which is really nice too. Now I'm applying a highlighter called High Beam by Benefit, and I put this on my cheekbones. Now you can put this all over your cheeks if you want to, to create a more um, in-depth highlight, but I like to have a kind of a subtle one just on my cheeks to make my cheeks stand out to create that effect. I just think it adds this perfect glow to your cheeks and it's just absolutely radiant and beautiful. I can't get enough of the high beam. It's amazing. Now I'm applying one of my favorite matte lipsticks. This is called Pretty Please. It's a luster and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it because it's a light pink but it still has a lot of nude tones so it's very wearable for day or night. Now I'm just fixing my eyebrows, making sure they're all fixed and this is my finished look. And then I just bludgeon my hair after this. And I'll have a tutorial on my hair after this video. So look for that. Bye, guys.